Hey guys, and welcome back. As you can see, we are not in the wood shop, at least not mine. If you remember, uh, a few videos ago, I done a Viking bowl. I told you a friend of mine gave it to me at run a sawmill. Well, that's where we're at today. We're going to be touring this place, seeing what he's got going on, seeing the the uh, bandsaw mill he's working with. And he's got this under a shed right now, keeping it out of the weather so you can see here what he's got going on. And right here is the man himself. We're going to call him Opie. Okay, right now we're under this woodshed right now, getting ready to do a little demo, see how this thing works out. But first, I'm going to let him kind of tell you about his bandsaw mill here and uh, all the specs and all the fun stuff about it. So if you want to, just go right ahead. Uh, this is a Woodmiser LT-10. At the time, it was the smallest one that Woodmiser made. Uh, I wish I'd went just a little bit bigger at the time, but I was going at it blind. Uh, only thing I've done is watch YouTube videos. Yeah. But uh, it'll cut a log uh, 16 foot long, 24 inches round, and it'll cut a board 18 inches wide. Good size slab. So it, uh, it's a manual mill. There's no hydraulics, no nothing. It's all brute force to roll your log, turn your log. Everything's a, uh, it's, a, it's manpower. So. <laughs> yeah. So it looks... Looks to me, I, I've always told my wife I wanted one of these things, and but you know, for me, I don't really have a good dedicated area, especially the way you've got here. I don't have that open, open area. I do have just kind of a lean to where I've got some of my smaller pieces of wood and that kind of stuff, mostly bowl blanks. But I really like what you got going on here, man. It, uh, I'm actually this this one we this half of the shed we built uh, about six years ago when I first got it, and I'm kind of in the process between cutting orders, making a addition, it'll be 24 foot by 22 foot to house the edger. Wow. Right now I kind of got it tarped down and it's kind of aggravating when days it's raining, I could be edging, but I've, where I've got a tarp over to keep it from getting wet, it uh, it makes mm -hmm. it a little rough. So kinda. we're in the process of, it's uh, Johnny Cash, one piece at a time. Exactly, so. yeah. Kind of limits what you can do when bad weather hits, doesn't it? Right. Well, if you want to, man, we'll we'll get the next scene shot up here and uh, set up. I mean, and we'll let you cut some stuff here and see see how this baby works. All right. Uh, with this log here, we're actually working on three different orders. Uh, this I'm going to be getting some two by sixes out of this log, and it's going for a deck project. And then all the one by that comes out of it, I've got a gazebo and a barn project that it's going to be used on. So. Pretty much every piece of wood that comes out of this log has got a purpose and an order that it's going to. Okay, you can see him over here. He's getting his bandsaw all set up to cut this thing. So we're going to sit back and look, watch and see how this first cut comes out.
Look at that. So guys, check out this grain right here. This is hemlock right here. He just made this cut. One thing I want to point out, come down and look at the side, how flat that is. I've seen a lot of these bandsaws and I'm not sure if they're working on dull blades or if they're forcing it too hard, but that is a, that is a flat cut. explain kind of what this tank is here it, yes it's a gas tank but it's been repurposed for a water tank you have to run water on the blade to keep it cool and the original water tank busted and I was kind of in a pinch and needed to take and fix something where I could get a water tank going and this gas tank was laying around so a few ratchet straps and zip ties and here we are with a repurposed gas tank for a water tank so it's actually holding a little bit more water than the original so I can saw a little bit longer without having to re refill Okay guys, you've seen him run the sawmill today. He's got a good chunk of that done and next we're going to head over to the edger. Now I'll be honest, I'm not 100% uh, familiar with these things, so I'm going to let turn this over to him and he'll kind of explain to you what this thing does and how beneficial it is to his business. Uh, this is a Woodmiser EG100 edger and it's a twin blade edger. It's got two 10 inch saw blades inside. And as you're squaring a log up, you get a lot of bores that have wane on both sides of them. And normally, you would take and set them up in the sawmill if you didn't have an edger, and you would trim them down with the sawmill to make your dimensional lumber, like your one by fours, one by six, one by eight, whatever. But with this, that eliminates all the work of setting them in the mill, cutting one side, flipping them over. It's just more or less a time saver, mm -hmm. and hit. It's rated for, I think, 60 board feet a minute if you can keep up with it. And for one man, it's hard to keep up 60 board feet yeah. a minute. Yeah, I could imagine. So. so we'll let him get this thing set up, guys. He's got a pretty good stack of lumber. He's going he's gonna to run a few for us and show us how this thing works. <clears throat> Whenever you get ready to run your board through here, you have a scale right here on the side of the machine that's attached to the, the blades inside. Um, if you're going to run a four inch board through there you adjust your handle back to to four inches and then as you start your board on the conveyor you line it up with the scale right here which is uh, 
it's it's scared, it's adjusted and zeroed out with this first blade in here that's a fixed blade so whenever it goes through in between the two 10 inch blades is four inches or six inches so when it comes out the other side you've got two pieces of scrap and a good board or if you have one side that is uh that don't have any wane on it that's a, a straight edge then you'll raise your fence up you'll put your square edge right against the fence and as it goes through it'll come out uh, it kind of just helps you get it straight so you ain't having to deal Makes with trying to adjust it or anything good you, clean board you've got a good clean board on both sides and as you said your your left hand blade is essentially a stationary blade and then your right hand one actually adjusts in and yes. makes the actual width of the cut yes it will uh with this machine you can uh edge of board up to 12 inches wide 12 yeah. inches is the max width on it i think the total uh board width that you can run through here i think is like 14 to 16 yeah inches. so essentially in a way like a table saw it's, set up a little different it's a table saw on steroids yeah basically the way i look at it but it's a very handy outfit to have yes sir well good deal we'll get, let you get this set up and we'll show some footage of you run through there So guys, we're at the end of the video today. We, we've milled up some lumber. Perry showed us his uh, bandsaw mill here and his edger. Uh, and I tell you, I've had an absolute blast today on and off camera. And so, like, share, and subscribe. You got anything to add to that, Perry? No, man, just uh, thank you for coming down and video and hanging out with me for the day. Good deal, man. I appreciate the heck out of it. Come back anytime. So until then, we'll see you on the next video.